Welcome back, everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing another 12-hour stream like we're doing today whenever we do get to 1,500 YouTube subscribers. Um, every 500 YouTube subscribers uh, triggers a 12-hour stream. So I just put the link there in chat, in Twitch chat there, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens FTG. Um, our deck that we're going to try today is Esper Angels. Uh, you know, we played Mardu Angels yesterday. These are the two Angels decks that I like the most right now. Um, we had some good success with this the other day. The only change that I'm making is I talked about how there are some uh, five and six man enchantments with um, was it Ethereal Absolution and uh, whatever the five mana one was, Eldritch Reborn. I didn't like those too much. We're taking those out for Thief of Sanities. And gonna try that instead. Um, but besides that, I, I kind of like where, what this deck's doing. Honestly, Thought Erasure was amazing for us last time. It was really, really good. Of um, you know, it's just it's just a, a great card. And uh, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and play some Esper Angels. Oh, I don't like these planes and swamps. Let's get some better planes and swamps. I don't really have any Grixis deck right now. I had a Grixis deck last format that I liked quite a bit, um, but I haven't uh, haven't really updated it with the new set at all. Kind of like this planes. That's kind of a cool planes. It's one I haven't used it in a little while. All right, what's a swamp that goes with a, that planes? Whoops. Like it. All right, Esper Angels. So we're going to go ahead and try this competitive metagame challenge here with Esper Angels because I, I am pretty confident in this in this deck. I think it's it's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and and try this like we did it yesterday. Even though this this mode isn't as valuable for us because all these packs that you can win are not are not very valuable as we saw yesterday as we were just opening up every pack for twenty gems, but oh well, let's try it. You're running Thieves Andy in the Is It Drake builds. Nice. Yeah, it's certainly a good card. Huh. We're on the draw. The 26 land deck. I wouldn't mind if our opponents play Nagro. I would certainly mind to draw the third Lyra. That's the worst possible draw in our deck. It's not a good hand against Esper, though. Yeah, we still get the wild cards. That's a good point. We get the wild cards for opening packs. Every six packs is a wild card. That's a, good, that's a very good point. Plus with the opportunity to open up other wild cards. And, and I don't have all the mythics from the set. I how convenient. An excellent choice. Efforts are futile. <laughs> no, the shuffler is not broken. That's just that's just how randomness is. Um, and the thing about arenas, you just get to play so many games that it that it seems like, uh, Your yeah, like, like that kind of stuff happens because you you do play so many games. Well, we didn't get the land for Dawnbringer. Oh, but they went minus, right? So the Karn's going to die. Yeah, they didn't tick up. So I take Teferi and Wrath. Hmm. 
Oh, I can't take two things. Right. I, will be better prepared I only have one black mana. Time. Well, I'm glad I took the fairy. So I can, uh, I can resolve Angel of Grace right now, but then they get to Kaya's Wrath and Hold Up Absorb. These Lear Dawnbringers are going to be sideboarded out in this matchup. I don't think we win this, but we're gonna give it a try. So I don't think I think Search Rose Canto is gonna get us. They just they kept Thought Erasure on top. Uh, we're playing against Esper Control. If you show remorse, I'll show you. Let's take it back. Well. All right, sideboard time. More dresses, negates, thief, ego, spyglass, immortal sun. Basically everything. Kaya's Wrath is out. Dawnbringer is out. Um, how many Mortifies do I want to take out? At least two. At least with a 65. I kind of have too many cards for this matchup. I guess I'm taking out Dive Down. That's 63. Maybe I just don't need this Ego. Like, I want to take Teferi with Ego. Yeah, I like how Angel of Grace has Flash. But maybe that's the card we need to take out. Um, I, I don't want to just, like, take out all removal. So I don't want to just take out, like, Contempts and stuff. Yeah, maybe I just take out Angel of Grace too. It's just five mana. Can counter it. They can use cast down. They can kill it pretty easily. All right, let's do that. I like Tithe Taker. I like I like early things in the matchup, and it also, um, you know, it has Afterlife, which is good for us. It makes their counter magic cost more. It's not my favorite hand at all. 
I'm not gonna mulligan it, but certainly not my favorite hand. You know, we just brought in just a, a ton of one and two mana interaction uh, with all the negates and duresses and thought erasures. So not having anything like that is, it's not good. And still not drawing anything like that. Still not good. Not exactly sure why they brought in Thief of Sanity against the Angel deck. That's okay. Absolutely, Matthew. Uh, Seraph already is gas. Seraph is really good. Your final boss in Constructive End is best in best of one is Mono Red, and you play Mono Red, and then you resolve Surge Mare against them and double obsession it. Wait, what? You have Surge Mare in Mono Red against Mono Red? Alright, they took something over Duress. Thought Erasure. That's that's better than Duress. Those are the cards I wanted. So I'm getting a little punished by not using the Contempt earlier on the Thief. Are they expecting to do something with that Teferi? I think they're Sorry, expecting I'm to do late. stuff with that Teferi. I think, I think they were. I was going to Ego the Kaya's Rats and take those out of the deck. They can't tuck Immortal Sun. They, you can't do anything with the Teferi. Because the very first line there, players can't activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities. Oh, you were playing mono blue. Okay, and you have to play mono red. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I kind of want one extra removal spell for Thief of Sanity. I could certainly see them not playing Thief of Sanity, though. I could certainly see them taking it out. Like, I could, I could cut the Ego for Mortify. Um, that's the big thing to change. Then are, are we going to die to Teferi if I do that? I don't know. We have a lot of other things for Teferi. I'm going to do that. <laughs> you can't tuck the sun. It burns at a million degrees. Yeah, the list is performing pretty well. Uh, and, you know, we are... We're going to game three, though. Here against Esper Control, but yeah, I like I like this Esper Angels deck. I think it has a lot of potential. I 
I like Tithe Taker, or sorry, I like Resplendent Angel. I don't really want to shave one, sorry. Not Tithe Taker. I like Resplendent Angel because it's it's a threat that can just take over the game with its ability and everything. Mm -hmm. It does match up against their Thief of Sanity pretty well. I'm glad I put the extra Mortify in. Well, I'm not exactly glad because I don't want them to get Mortifies, but... Alright, they got rid of two lands. Yeah, like, I would love to have just a removal spell for that thief, but, you know, we haven't drawn one. Okay, no removal spell. Seraph is perfect with, like, the vigilance and everything. It's just perfect. Yeah, maybe I should have brought in Dive Down. Best deck to beat Mono Blue is uh, the other aggro decks, like Mono Red, Mono White. Those are the best decks there to beat, mon to beat Mono Blue. Hmm. I should have put a Shock Land in here. I'm one land away from activating Arch of Arazka. I don't want to play the Thief out into another Wrath. Alright, if they're playing Thief out... I guess they'll just probably activate Arch of Arazka here. Like, I could play my own Thief, but... I'd rather draw a card. We have blockers here for that. They, they can't really attack. See if we draw anything that costs one or two mana. That'll do. Arch is better than Library of Alexandria. It's been better for us here. That is so many cards. Do not get three extra cards. No. No opponent. So, we have Arch going. They're going to have Escanta the Sunken Ruin going. Uh, Escanta does cost them a lot of mana. I'm playing the Resplendent Angel here because they can't just uh, trade. Like, if I play Thief, they can, like, trade Thief and Thief. Spyglass would be a good card for us to draw to shut down Escanta. They, 
they keep surveilling to the top. So, they like their card, whatever it is. Hmm. Oh, that, that last song was um, Cleopatra by the Lumineers. Yeah, I'll just go to the next song. No, I don't do any streams where I play my subs, Mad Cat, Mad King. Um, but I do have that as like a donation bonus in the donation panel. Hostage taker. Talk about a card I was not expecting. So the Seraph of the Scales just trades with the Resplendent Angel. The tokens deck was was kind of was surprisingly good. We uh, we were pretty fortunate. In a lot of the league, we had a lot of a lot of good stuff happen. You know, that, I guess that kind of makes sense for going five and one. But um, but overall, it's still still very very good. Uh. Oh, I don't have any blue mana? Are you kidding me, auto tap? What are you doing? What are you doing, auto tap? Yeah, they prioritize Sarah's abilities with the black and white. Yeah. All right, cool. We got one blue mana this time.
Should have just attacked last turn too. Because I, I forgot I forgot for a minute there that my opponent can activate Resplendent Angel. I should have just done this last turn too. All right, eighteen all. Still got their Escanta going. I really want to find Spyglass to shut down Escanta. All right, now we get blue mana and black mana. It's pretty nice. Yet again, it's not giving us blue mana again. Yep, the angel is dead. That's why they didn't get an angel. Yep. To fairy with absorb backup. That's that. Will, that's pretty good from what we saw just a little bit ago. I'm glad we have both contempts here. Alright, get Thief out of here. And we'll attack down to Fairy with all these 1 1s. This is hardly my worst defeat. Another Karn. I will choose him. Oh, let's draw on some cards. So they're they've used three of the four absorbs, and we've gotten rid of two hostage shaker, two thief of sanity, right? Like with the second hostage shaker being there. What was lost? They're minusing for returned. cast down. Really? Why do they care about cast down so much? Immortal Sun? Baby. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and play this one right about here. This one looks pretty good. Boom! The Immortal Sun. Victory. Opponent may not have had another answer to it with uh, with the Invoke the Divine gone um, that we duressed away earlier. They may not have had another answer. Good job, Archer Varaska. Archer Varaska was certainly like the reason why we were in that game. I added three Thief of Sanity to the sideboard. Yeah, over the Eldest Reborns and Ethereal Absolution that I don't like too much. Yeah, they maybe they could have maybe had a third hostage taker, but I guess not if they're just picking them up. <laughs> 
blue red lava runner so I kind of want a tight staker nah I think I need to find a Lyra Dawnbringer. Nah, Resplendent Angel's good. I'm not going to play it for a little while, but it's a good card. Hmm. <laughs> There's only 67 people watching Artifact? Oh man. Wow, that game died really quickly. Got to get value out of these thought erasures before they disappear, or like before, like they don't have cards in hand, kind of thing. All right, so we've gone through two lightning strikes, a wizard's lightning, and a shock. I'm playing Resplendent Angel Tithe Taker next turn, uh, saving Angel of Grace a little bit in case our life total um, has a chance to go down below one. Could also just Kaya's Wrath. Gain one life, kill both their things. Nah. All right, draw land. We get to activate Resplendent Angel. Hmm. Not a land. Shock land, though. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. They're, they're bluffing mountain. That's perfectly fine. Um... Nothing else I was thrilled to do here. Yeah, I was just kind of saving Angel of Grace in case we... Um, in case we were worried about a couple burn spells. I could have had like two lightning strikes there and killed me. It's certainly possible. All right, duress negate. Cry kills a lot of their things, but not all of their things. Um, doesn't kill that the wee dragonauts thing. Um, 
So this is 64. I think I'm taking out Thought Erasure. So bringing in duress. Dive down is just is really good at protecting Lyra. It's pretty important at doing that. Um, may not be necessary though. Maybe thought erasure is better. I wonder if thought erasure is better than duress, kind of in general, for us that. Yeah, it probably is. All right, never mind. I'm off the duress. Let's get another mortify in. No, Tithe is Tithe is pretty good. You know, it can make it can trade with one of their creatures and make another chump blocker. It's good value for two mana. This hand can our hand can certainly lose if they got a great hand. It's hoping to draw Shockland to be able to throw down on turn one. Yeah, we have Tithe Takers and Cry of the Carnarium in our deck. You can call that one a combo. All right, 26 land deck. We need another one. They're down to two other cards. The Storm Tamers aren't very scary at all. Look at Tithe Taker blocking a Lava Runner and trading with a Storm Tamer. Is it wizards? Sure looks like wizards to me. <clears throat> yeah, Deckmaster looks to be working on my end. Man, look how good Seraph is. Deckmaster is the app that the application that allows you to mouse o over the cards and read them. So right now, if you're on your PC, you can mouse over the the cards and you can mouse over the graveyard and see all the cards and everything. Yeah, we're we're doing fine. Yeah, not on mobile though. It's kind of too hard to make it work on mobile, I suppose. Assume that thing's a wizard, right? Fairy wizard. Um. I feel like it'd be kind of hard to to have it work on mobile. I guess like you know how you just like try to tap all the things. I don't, I don't know, but it's just it's just one dude that that made the application. Two and O. 
so far. Asper Angel is beating beat control, beat aggro. Good spot. Let's keep it going. Remember, one loss and we're out. So we got to we got to uh, keep winning here. <laughs> when you watch on mobile and don't have deck masters, it feels bad, man. No, sac sacrificing with uh, Arg the Argyle's Bloodfast land is part of the cost. So that's that's part of the cost. You can respond after that, but you can't you can't do anything before the creature is sacrificed because that's part of the cost. It's not part of the resolution of the ability. All right, we got a bunch of lands and an Arch of Araska here. We're gonna need to draw some spells. Resplendent Angel is a spell, that counts. No, Arena's not on mobile. <laughs> Don't lose, alright. Try not to. I think I'm kind of safe to just throw down this Resplendent Angel this turn. Even though I don't have the dive down protection for a turn. You know, they don't have any black mana out here. So we don't even know if they are a, a black mana deck. They'd have to, you know, we don't know if they're soul tire. Maybe they're just blue green. They'd have to have like swamp plus cast down kind of thing. No, I don't use any arena tracker. All right, so they are a soul tie deck. Carnage Tyrant? I can probably be Carnage Tyrant. So do I want to attack with the... This thing's attacking. Do I want to attack with the token or not? Uh, I think the answer is no. I think I sit back and block a land war elf. So let's see. Because like that could be 9, which is you know two turn clock. This is puts them down to 11. I guess if I do attack, it puts them down to 10. And then activate is 5. Activate lethal... No, I'm going to sit back. Pretty glad they're not attacking with the land war elf here. Yeah, I can re I can dive down to reduce damage, yes. Oh. Vivian. Vivian is like the perfect timing here where if I tap out, if I activate Resplendent Angel's ability and tap out, then I still have a 4-4. Four four. Gosh. Why couldn't they have the Vivian this previous turn? So I could have used the dive down this previous turn. So if, if I do use Resplendent Angel's ability, I get a 4-4, four, four, and they're down to 6. 
If I attack with both of these, get a 4-4. Four, four. No, because they just killed a 4-4, four, four, and then I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm at 16, 7, 10, 13, 14. I am not dead. Yeah, actually, we're good. So yeah, we'll go to 14. Because they have to tap a land war off, so they, they can attack us down to 2. I've lost so much already. I won't feel the wrath of Scala. All right, that's game. All right, got game number one. Thought Erasure is just always coming through clutch. We get this extra Kaya's Wrath in here. Spyglass, Immortal Sun. Um, and I cut Tithe Taker. And that's what I'm doing in this matchup. That's what I did before. I could certainly play Cry of the Carnarium. It's it's great against Midnight Reaper. If our opponent has Midnight Reaper, Cry of the Carnarium is is great. Uh, there are a lot of games where it's not necessarily great, but we did see Midnight Reaper there. Yeah, Dive Down is pretty pretty crucial in this matchup because of Chupacabra and Hostage Taker. Uh, this is like the matchup for Dive Down. Mortify still kills like big Krasis's and big wild growth walkers. Maybe I take out one Mortify for a cry. We'll try that. We'll have one cry over a Mortify. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us too bad. got our second sub of the day, Sandreve. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support, Sandreve. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime sub. All right, second sub of the day. Every five subs, we are cracking open a pack. And Lorik is joining that Twitch Prime action as well. That gets some more hype in the channel. Come on, y'all. We need to get some hype for our new subs. Uber, also sub number three. Yeah, I love those hype boats in there. And sprinkles started. There we go. This we do have a sub train here, a, a sub boat. Good job, Sandreve. Thank you. And yeah, sprinkles, Uber. Y'all are awesome. All right, that gets us to four subs on the day. Uh, I think we're playing Clarion Power, actually. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't really looked at the list too much since it was donated. <laughs> Jack Team, getting all of them in there. Uh, 76 trombones. Well, I'd rather have a Mortify, I think, than this Cry of the Carnarium. I don't know. I got the Kaya's Wrath anyway. For next... If you full 75 next game... What What do you mean, Yuki? What is it? What is it? If I full 75, what does that mean? Oh, oh, I know. If I, if I bring in all 75 cards... Gotcha. Um, I guess I cut this thought erasure. Oh man, I, I miss Majors. He's one of my favorite people. 
What do I think about Mardu midrange? Um, I like the Mardu Angels deck that I play. Uh, I like that deck a whole lot. I've always had a lot of success with that one. I don't know if that's the same or different from the Mardu midrange deck you're talking about. Do you sometimes consider cutting a land for a card? Yeah. Yeah, that's certainly a consideration at times. I think that that is more more useful in uh, in other formats. Um, but yeah, that could certainly be a thing. Like I'm bringing in I'm bringing in Immortal Suns here that cost six mana. I can't really cut a land. But if that could be a thing if you do change your curve quite a bit. Oh yeah, it's a that's a sub armada. Absolutely. All those sub boats. Troll saying, hey, thanks for the Mardu Angels deck list. I've been getting many wins with it. Awesome. Glad to hear it. That is true. This is this is the metagame challenge. It's worth a, a ton of packs, so it is kind of hard to to meme here. That's a very good point. Let's tear this place apart. This is nothing. I don't think our opponent has finality. I wish I, I guess I, I should have used the, the mana for Seraph to give a vigilance there. But anyway, I don't think that they have finality with like this one Every other card. So I'm, is a new I'm beginning. fine, you know, playing into it. You know, we draw a land for Lyra. We get to give these things lifelink, uh, especially like the Seraph lifelink, gain five, get another angel with resplendent. Lumbering Battlements plus Siege Flyno combo deck. Oh, I haven't thought about that combo. That's a wonderful combo. All right, maybe they do have finality. Or they, they could have... I mean, I guess they could have Moment of Craving. Nah, just a big jellyfish. I want to hold up negate. I kind of feel like our opponent may have finality now with how they attacked like that. I think I'm just going to pass. If they don't play anything, I'll contempt this crisis at end step. Well, they wouldn't have dealt any damage by buffing the walker. Because of the minus four, minus four. Walker would have stayed alive, but they wouldn't have dealt that one point of damage they did before. Maybe it's just moment of craving? That seems like it's just moment of craving.
could of course just not block at all. Um, but I like getting the card out of their hand and really knowing what it is. We're in a good spot, so they can trade the Resplendent Angel for a moment plus a Wild Growth Walker. I think we're we're fine with that. Where we were. All right, so three wins. Let's keep this going. We got to get four more to get to thirty packs. But we have we have gotten our gold back. We got our entry fee back. We've beaten S we have beaten Esper Control, Sultai, and Blue Red Wizards. Yeah, the rewards on this challenge would be better if the, the packs mattered more. Um, unfortunately, I already have the whole set for the rares, so the packs are basically just 20 gems each. No, I haven't gotten 30 packs. Yeah, we got... Yesterday we got five wins and four wins. Um, Taker or Erasure? Temple Garden? What's Temple Garden doing on turn two? Not a whole lot. Wow. All right, well, that's something they could do, I suppose. That would have been a wonderful card to a Thought Erasure. need more angels. At this point. All right, we're playing uh playing playing fog. It's going to be tough for us to win. We have a lot of stuff in the sideboard for the matchup. Uh, just for like these kind of decks, but winning game one is going to be tough. We have a good start with two drop, three drop, though. How do you think the matchup between Esper Control and Sultai Midrange is? I think... Um, I think Esper is favored in Game 1 and Sultai is favored in Games 2 and 3. In that matchup. I think when Sultai gets to bring in uh, Hand Disruption as well. Whoa! Why couldn't I do anything? Did I? I must. I must have clicked the past turn thing by accident. That could certainly hurt us. Should have. Should have had angel. Like, cause this angel would have made a new angel. Also. That certainly hurts us. Hmm. 
Well, we wouldn't have won this turn. They, they would have used the fog uh, this turn. If we would have played the angel, they would have had to use the fog, but then we would have been able to take the nexus. So they wouldn't have been able to cast this nexus. But all this nexus does is let them reshuffle and draw one card, you know, it lets them draw a random card. But they wouldn't have been able to get that random card. Rick. They have eight cards in the graveyard, 41 in the library. That returns an instant. And they didn't play it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, because they didn't have the mana to play that. And play a fog. Uh. It's frustrating. Found a fog. Now Mirari Conjecture gets back another one. Um, I could draw like a Mortify. So they get a sorcery back. What do they have for sorceries? Nothing. So they got to hit off this Kanta again. Hopefully they brick. Get a brick. That's not going to do it. So they're five color. This gotta be. Is this Lich's Mastery? Is our opponent playing Lich's Mastery? Like, why are they playing Moment of Cravings and Red Sources? What are they doing with five colors here? Has anybody seen see something like this? Like I haven't I haven't played against a Lich's Mastery deck. I don't know if that's what this is. Duress, negate, thief, ego, spyglass, immortal sun. Lyra and Angel of Grace out. So Lich's Mastery does not play Nexus. Could be a Mastermind deck. Um, that's certainly fair. They gotta be a Teferi deck, right? I mean, maybe they aren't. Uh, dive down out, good call. And then... Uh, I guess contempt out. If they're not if they're not a Teferi deck, I don't really need a Mortal Sun. I don't know, but drawing multiple cards is kinda nice, but were they even white? That's a good question. Maybe they're the four colors without white. Saw no white mana. Okay, so they're so then I, I don't need Immortal Sun or or Contempt. So I gotta play two more of these. So I guess I play two Dawnbringers, or I guess two Angel of Grace. Angel of Grace could stop like an explosion from killing me. They did have Temple Gardens, that's a good call. Yeah, they had Temple Gardens. That's right, they started turn one Temple Garden. I'm just gonna play these Immortal Suns. This game could certainly go longer with like the interaction that I have and everything and drawing multiple cards a turn. 
No, Mortify is, is great in this matchup because they have a lot of, they have a ton of enchantments. You know, like they're playing Wilderness Reclamation, Search for Escanta, uh, Gift of Paradise is not, you know, that's not a bad card. That's just three mana Stone Rain for us uh, using using it there. They they certainly have a ton of enchantments. I, I really like Mortify. So, yeah, not cutting that one over Contempt. Is Sultai the best best of three deck right now? Probably. It's hard to say that it's not. Alright. Root Snare, Gift, Nexus. Graveyard. Ah, uh, boo. Come on, deck. We don't need more lands. Love to draw Mortify, destroy this as Kanta. It's a good draw. Yeah, Cleansing Nova would be great for us. Wow. Or maybe we'll draw nothing but lands. I did I did put the one spell we've seen so far in the graveyard with Thought Erasure, because don't really need another resplendent angel, but Doesn't look so good for us. Yeah, maybe we can just like steal all their nexuses with Thief of Sanity and just not cast them so they just don't they just don't get them cuz we'll just have them over here. No, I'm not playing any Memorial to Follies. That extra land means they get to activate as Kanta twice and cast um, Nexus. Oh yeah, if they cast the Root Snare, it would prevent Diva Sanity. Yeah, absolutely. Let's try to draw a little better. So they are a Teferi deck. 
We did see Teferi. The black... We only saw a moment of craving for a black card. Spyglass doesn't do anything against Nexus, but it's going to help. Spyglass would help against um, Azkanta, keep them from just activating like that over and over again. I have one Unmored Ego in my, in my sideboard. We, we have an Unmored Ego in here somewhere. This is a lot better. We have Thought Erasure plus Negate. Last, last time we just had Thought Erasure, but then we also have Thief of Sanity early too. So definitely like this hand a lot more. Last time we just had Thought Erasure and like some 3-3s. Three Negate Chemister's Insight. I think I just take the Insight. No, I'll take I'll take Negate. Um So I want fifth land. I think I'm going to just be wanting land drops with Thief of Sanity in play. So yeah, I'll just I'll just keep the land. Uh, Swamp is like one of the worst lands we could have here with it not being another uh, black source, but... Um, disinformation campaign's a little slow. I don't think you'd want that in Esper control. That does give them another Chemist's Insight here. Which is a little rough. Um, I'm not holding up Negate for a Wilderness Reclamation, which could be a mistake. But I want to get the pressure on the battlefield. Uh, they had a Wilderness Reclamation. That's bad. Like drawing the extra blue mana. Alright, we got one Nexus out of their deck. I think I just want to copy this. And draw two myself. Yeah, we're on the Steel Their Nexus's game plan. They only got three left now. Yeah, we may end up casting the Nexus. We'll see. Oh, they they're absolutely playing four Nexus. They would probably play they would probably play more if they could. Um, do you think Wizards is going to continue ignoring best of three for competitive play? It, it certainly seems like it, right? You know, like it, yeah, the, uh, Invitational is not encouraging in that source. Right, if I play the Nexus, it goes back in their deck.
All right, this is looking really good for us right about now. So they have infinite mana, but they only have three cards right now that we don't know about. I could also just counter this and make it one card. That one card has to be like a fog or or a nexus or something like that. Or I give them two other looks. Let's let's counter. Is there they're dead if this card's a blank. So that they have to have something really good here. Kinda seems like it's a blank. Certainly feels like a blank. Alright, who's the Reclamation Nexus deck now? <laughs> I'm the captain now. There we go. Alright, 4 0. Asper Angels, kicking butt. Hey, hi, Shane, good evening. Yeah, we got a whole lot after sideboarding. There. This is the mid game boss where we're like the halfway point. Ugh. Hey, Kring, you just went 7 0 in one of these? Way to go. Good job. Alright, we can keep this hand. Um, I like I like this deck more than Esper Midrange myself. Um This isn't certainly not perfectly tuned because I, I haven't played this very much. This is only like the third or fourth time I've played this deck. Um so it's certainly not perfect yet. But I like the angels quite a bit. Alright, really fast start for the opponents on the play. Gonna be kinda difficult to keep up with. They cannot. They can't Vivian this turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Tithe Taker. I don't need to hold up Negate yet. That just gives them finality. Or find, I mean. They can just find both those back. What's my favorite deck? I don't really have a favorite deck. I, I've been enjoying this one, though. I don't really have a, a favorite deck, necessarily. So, Glacial Fortress seems like it would be a better card to play here, but Glacial Fortress kind of shows more counter spells, like with the double blue. And I want my p opponent to play a Vivian here into the negate. And if I have, like, the double blue up, maybe it's l less likely that my opponent plays... 
a Vivian because they're like worried about like Absorb or Sinister Sabotage or any of the other cards like that. I don't know if it's going to work. I mean, that's just what I'm kind of thinking. And of course, they, they also could just not have Vivian as well. Yeah, maybe I should be aggressive and attack there. I can also just triple block this Jade Light Ranger. Alright, so they have Fine Finality. Right now they have one Jade Light in the graveyard. Yeah, we're playing that mode right now, Valak. Alright, so yeah, I missed a point of damage. So they killed... If they kill this, they get to attack for six. Uh. Alright, I need to sit back with like a chump blocker next turn. Maybe I'll them all chump blockers. That's a good card. Th missing that one point of damage could certainly come back to cost me this game. Frasca, oh, come on. I will be the one to guide my people. I'll take what's mine. Well, that's terrible for me. Yeah, I could still block, but because of find finality that uh, I assumed our opponent had, did not want to block. <sighs> Frasca changes things. Angel of Grace was a really good draw. That was a really good draw for us. So they're going to minus Frasca again. My crew is Good. the finest in the seas. Oh, Chubacabra, that's not good. Why can't uh, uh this is why we need dive downs. Dive downs have been a lot better for us. Chupacabra. 
Because otherwise I'm attacking or I'm untapping with Lyra and get a really big life link angel. And in fact, I like that's lethal. You know, if they just if they just had like Vras's contempt or Viv you know, if they had any spell where I got to negate, we're attacking for lethal in the air here. I can't just play Dawnbringer. Because of the Relic Seeker on the battlefield now. So I need to draw like a Kaya's Wrath. I, I still just can't beat this Relic Seeker though. From here. Fight them, you maggots! Only then a gate was a dive down. All right, so last time, so I brought in Wrath, Spyglass, Sun, um, and Cut Tithe Taker. That's what I did last time, and I liked that. Um, this, oh wait, yeah, I put in a Cry instead of a Mortify, also. Yeah, I did that as well. Hey, little cheeky, good afternoon. I'm not going to ego Hydra. We still just die to other cards. You like Cry and Thief? Those two cards don't go together that well. Yeah, Abzan Riches is a Revel the Riches deck. Yep. No, it's not common to play Relic Seeker. Card's amazing, but it's it's not common to play. I mean, Thief looks better than Resplendent Angel here. You know, right away on, on turn three. Uh, Thief of Sanity would look a little better here. I don't need to play Spyglass on, immediately on turn two. I think I can wait a little bit. Because I'm I want it for Vivian. Of course, now they have Vraska also. But I want it for Vivian or Vraska. And so I think I can give them a little bit more chance to draw one of those two. You know, like they've drawn two cards since then. Um, so I, I'll have more information whenever I see their hand. Kali would obviously be good in this matchup. 
That doesn't mean it's one of the 75 cards I want to put in the deck. But yeah, Takali Honor Guard would be would be great in this matchup. Phoenix resubbing for the third month in a row. Welcome back. That is our fifth sub, so we're going to be cracking open a pack after this one. Which it looks like we're about to get some... Get some packs. We need a Kaya's Wrath. Actually, down to 78 there. Yes, Honor Guard would be really good in this matchup. I don't think it takes a lot of sideboard slots, or you know, even just playing a couple. I don't think it's really worth it. Um, you know, we we are losing this game, but it doesn't mean that we always lose Soul Tie. And, uh, yeah, Egos for Nexus in the sideboard or against, like, Esper Control, I bring it in for Teferi. All right, Lyra Dombringer, please. Dombringer can win us this. Just get Dawnbringer. Kaya's Wrath would not be bad either. Kaya's Wrath, Dawnbringer. Or another land. Alright, we lost the Soul Tie. We beat Sultai earlier too, you know, like Sultai is just a really good a good deck. We're not going to beat it 100% of the time. And, uh, you know, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we do. But I like where the, the Esper Angels deck's at. Yeah, like that. the deck felt pretty good. Um, certainly felt pretty good. I... I could see playing like the Thief of Sanities in that matchup. I could actually, could absolutely see that. I could certainly see playing a fourth Kaya's Wrath in here. Uh, a lot of those games, you know, we were looking for a Wrath effect. Um, but yeah, just didn't didn't line up. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, let's get a pack. We let's open up one of these packs for uh, getting to our five subs on the day. See if we can get a Mythic. Oh, it looks like we got a mythic or a uh, or a wild card. One of the two. Mythic emergency powers. All right, that's a good one to have. Got to add those to the collection. So there we go. Cool. All right, so that's Esper Angels. Um, I think the thieves were a good addition to the sideboard that we did add in. Uh, there, I think that's a good addition. Um, but we'll just kind of keep on tuning from here. So, there we go. All right, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, uh, please hit that subscribe button so you can get all the other videos as well. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next video.